Alright, so I learned this uh, model last year. Um, big thumbs up to uh, Mayowa for Master to Eyes. And um, I'm also still going to try as much as I can to get him into the show to have an interview session with him. He's a very, 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 very brilliant guy. Very, very busy guy too. So um, hopefully when you watch this video, you'll be interested to, to come to the show. Alright, so um, like I said, a lot of you guys are... Um, short let enthusiasts and a lot of you guys are also looking at the opportunities the market gaps there so <clears throat> it's important for us here at the property guy to also try to um, pay a lot 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 of attention to short lets and the market gaps the challenges and also the different models that you can um run um this this venture this venture on so we'll be talking about the particular short let model today and looking at it, a couple of you guys already bought an apartment in Lucky Face One, Ikate, some in Chevron. Some of you also bought some apartments from Landway, maybe around um, some Gutedo or around uh, maybe Amade Soya. Even some of you bought apartments from Landmark, maybe around the Abijo GR also. And your major objective is also for you to um, do short lit apartment there. And is it makes a lot of sense for a lot of investors, particularly those abroad, because you're looking at it that if I'm not in Nigeria, the apartment is at least yielding something for me. And anytime I'm in the country, at least I have a very safe, quiet, nice place for me to stay. I'm not going to be spending money on, on a hotel. All right, so we're looking at a short let model today. Um, and we'll, majorly, we'll be looking at um, a short let model of you owning one apartment. In a space for short lets and you owning an apartment in a space where all the build all the blocks all the apartments in that block are, are, are on short lets so you are going to see the difference and you're also going to see the reason why a lot of people after doing short lets for like nine months eight months they just they just close up they just they just give up uh, we're not doing it again this doesn't make any sense all right so so once again this model is i'm not the i'm not the owner of this model i'm not the one that created it so uh so we'll be talking about this primarily in this video and if you're coming across a video like this for the first time this is meet the property guy property channel at least it's because everything real estate short lets land banking buy and flip build and sell you know every available opportunity out there is what we dissect here on this on this channel so this is your go-to channel if you really really want you are very very interested and very very serious about the, the Nigeria real estate market lagos real estate market abuja real estate market so um let's go straight into the topic and look at the short let model of having all apartments all apartments in a building all on short let. all right so before i start explaining what we have here on the screen uh if this is your first video your fifth video your tenth video you are nagging you again yes you to subscribe at least i won't be nagging you again after you subscribe so you want you to subscribe and if you have subscribed we want you to turn on the notification button yeah 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 it's, we've we've had few contents in the past couple of days or couple of weeks but you we are going to make up to that now with some back-to-back -back content so kindly turn on the notification button so that as you are dropping this content you get notified as as we drop them all right so Let's talk about short let model now let's before i talk about this let's talk about what is happening in the market right now what a lot of you guys are doing so we have a high rise we have a high rise building and then we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten flats there and then okay all right so very nice location you see the design maybe you bought it on, on, on off plan or the property is already completed and maybe you bought this apartment this unit maybe it's a two bed it's a three bed and then after buying it you call your interior deco guy they went in do their 3d of the interior and then you furnish put your chair put your bed put it the tv but the nice artworks and everything and you start putting out for short leads maybe 100 keep per night 80 keep per night or 90 keep per night all right now 
like I said before, we have 10 units of apartment in this in this um, building, and you bought, and uh, you are doing short left there. Now there are nine other apartments here, nine others. Let's say maybe um, this person bought two, and is doing short left two, and then uh, maybe this person two is doing short left there too. All right, so. Um, we have three out of ten they are doing sh you guys are doing short lets here and then we have one two three four five six seven one two three four one two three four five six seven eight is it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven oh it's eleven actually so eleven out apartments three are doing short lets and then we have eight that are not doing short lets here all right now you guys that are doing short lets you don't even know, know each other but each person have their own block, have their own apartments. Each person use their own interior deco to um, do their decoration. And then each person give it out to different shortlet managers. So each person is doing their adverts and they're getting occupants. Now, in a video I did last year or last two years, I talked about the running cost of a shortlet apartment. And I also um reiterated the importance of you planning ahead with that running cost because either someone is in your apartment or someone is not in your apartment you are still going to be paying service charge service charge for water service charge for security service charge for refuse disposal service charge for maintaining the entire building then also um either your apartment is booked or not it has to be in very good shape which means that at least either once weekly or twice weekly, someone have to go there to clean up the space, open the windows, make sure is, everything is tidy. Either people book or not. Now, if you are running Netflix subscription in that apartment, your Netflix subscription is counting. Either people book or not. If you have internet subscription in that apartment, your internet subscription is counting. Either people book or not. So now, out of the 11 apartments here, three of you guys are doing shorted apartments. You guys don't know each other. You guys use three different interior deco. You guys also use three different shortlet managers. Now, the other eight apartments, some people are staying there. People that bought it are staying there themselves. And some people there, they rent it out. Now, this is where the problem now starts coming. Now, problem number one is, is that the cost of maintenance here will be very high for each of them. Because if my apartment here have an electrical issue, I have to call the electric electrician to come and check my own apartment. If my apartment here has a plumbing issue, I have to call a plumber to come and check my apartment because there's a plumbing issue. If I have a cleaner cleaning my apartment, the cleaner comes to my apartment because is my apartment i don't know if others are doing shortlets the person comes to my apartment just to do for my apartment if i want to change my interior deco the interior deco is coming just to my apartment here to do it so the cost of all these running costs will be very very high because whoever i'm calling whoever i require their service is that a technician is an interior deco is a cleaner they are only doing for my apartment not for the entire building now, one, so one very remarkable thing I learned from um, what my wife is doing at Asset, Asset House is that a model that I've seen them apply and a model I've seen them um, really make flourish because it's, it's really working and the, the model is really like a common sense. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six apartments in this building. We are, we are living this now. Six apartments in this building. Now, I built this building strictly for short lets. Nobody is renting out a house here. Nobody is living in their house here. All the apartments that we have here, we are using it for short lets. Now, the number one advantage that I have is that when I want to furnish my apartment, I'm using the same interior deco to furnish all the six apartments that I have here. And that's going to save me costs. But the interior deco is not just driving all the way from wherever it's coming for 
to check only my apartment. But the internet doctor is coming to check six apartments. Now, the furnishing that I'm also going to buy for the apartment, it will also be cheaper. Because here, the furnishing that you are getting after your integral deco has come here, your TV, your share, or your whatever, they are buying it here. They are bringing it only to your own flat. But here, I'm buying 60, okay, let's say each flat is, um, yeah, each flat, let's, let's say each flat is two TV. So, I'm buying two, 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 two. I'm buying 12. 12 TVs. Definitely, I'm not going to pay the same price as someone that is buying one or someone that is buying two. Because I'm buying 12. I'm buying in bulk. The same thing with shares. The same thing with beds. The same thing with fridge. The same thing with everything that I want to use to furnish that apartment. Because I'm buying it in bulk, in six, in five, in ten, in twelve, in fifteen places. The cost will reduce immediately. Now, another thing is we have to start looking at it in different scenarios now. We, start, we first look at adverts. Now, in terms of adverts, I've repeated before, shortlet is advert-driven. The backbone of the success of your shortlet apartment all rests on your advert. Your advert is very good. Your advert is efficient. You are going to make money. You get bookings. Your advert is poor. Your advert is inefficient. Your apartment will be empty and you are making zero money. And your running costs, running expenses are still reading. Now, if you are running an advert here, you are only running advert for your own space, for your own apartment. That's the only thing you are running ad ad advert for. This person too will run advert for his own space. This person too will run advert for his own space. Now, if me, I'm running advert here, I'm running advert for the entire building. See the difference? I'm running advert for six flats. So I can, the, the entire six flat can be one bed, the entire six flat can be one and two bed or one, two, and three bed, but I'm going to advert as a building. It's a building that we have. So now, if you want maybe a 30 days advert, and then someone comes, the book, and someone else now see the, your advert, maybe this person book for three days, then the next day, someone else sees your advert, and then say, oh, yeah, can I book this space? I want to book for 15 days. You can't, because you already have someone that booked for three days, then you're telling the person, oh, sorry, we have someone there already, and then... After three days, person will leave and you can come and book. But now, me, I want an advert for the entire building. So, which means that if this one is booked, another person come, this one is available. They go there. This one is booked, another person come, this one is available. They go there. This one is booked, another person come, this one is available. They go there. So, this way, I can maximize the advert more. Because regardless of any time you see the advert, I have an apartment available to put you and that's why it's better your shortlist managers do the adverts not you because most times shortlist managers have a long or wide range of apartments they are managing so in case when your own is booked and another person come they can take that person to another apartment elsewhere now another thing that some of you do is that maybe you have a shortlist apartment in legacy one and then you buy another apartment in maybe Orchid. Or you buy another apartment in Ibamade Sonya or Songote Do. Now, if I see an advert for Leggy Face 1, shortlet, and I want to book. And then you're telling me that, oh, your space in shortlet in Leggy Face 1 is booked. Fine. Nice. But there is no way in holy hell I'll leave Leggy Face 1. If I really have the money for Leggy Face 1, and I'll go to Orchid. Or go to Ibamade Sonya because you have another one there. I'm not interested. Do you have another one around that street? Or at least, Max, do you have another one in Ikate that I might be interested in? So now, the advert will be more efficient here because if it's a 30 days advert we are running, it's a 15 days advert we are running, it's a 6 month advert we are running, we know that at any point that someone come, an apartment is available. Now, so the second part is the booking. Now, if I have... This person has his own apartment, he's doing short -led. This person is doing have his own apartment, he's doing short -led. This person is have his own apartment, he's doing short -led. Now, when people book and they want to check in, I have two options here. Is either I have a staff permanently here for my own apartment, just to get people to check in and check out. Now, compare it to this, 
I have six apartments here. It's very easy for me to station two people here because I have six apartments and they are handling six apartments, not one or two. They are handling six. So this way, whatever I'm paying them monthly, it should be worth it because I know that no one no how people will come and book and no one no how someone is there to attend to them. You get so my booking here will be more seamless because we control the entire building. We control all the apartments here. Now, another way this booking will be more effective is let's say this is a one bed. This is a one bed, this is a one bed, this is a two bed, this is a two bed, this is a two bed. Then this is a two bed, this is a two bed, this is a two bed. So now, someone wants to book an apartment here and the person needs a warm bed. My staff here, who is in charge of booking, we tell them, ah, sorry, oh, it's too bad that we have, oh, we don't have a warm bed here. Because what the person is handling here is a two bed. But now, we are handling the entire building and we have an advert running. All our warm beds are booked. And we see our people asking for one bed. It's simple. We just go to these two beds, lock one room, give the person i want to book give the person key to one of the bedrooms the person lodge or the person book the person check in another person come again give the person the key to another room because these people that i have here adding my bookings adding my bookings they are adding for the entire buildings so they know which one will open which one will be available tomorrow which one will be available next tomorrow because they are always there they are there permanently i can put them permanently there I don't mind if i have to be paying them salary i don't mind because i have six apartments they are managing for me compared to this one this one will be very very long time to employ someone there permanently because you look at it that is only my apartment now at the meantime i've they booked this month safe they only book maybe three times or two times maybe it's only 10 days or nine days i've done this month i got it that ah, this person is just there he's not doing anything so i would rather just want to have maybe someone there when i have someone that i've booked and then person just go there and i meet up but this one i can have someone there permanently because I have six apartments there and they can they are easily engaged because people are always coming in and they can look they can always look at which one is available, which one will be open in the next tomorrow or next tomorrow. Okay, someone needs two beds and they say, Oh, okay, we have um our two beds are all occupied, but uh one of our occupants will be leaving tomorrow. Just just manage this one bed, at least for this night. And then tomorrow you can just um, clean the two bed and then you, you lodge there. So it will be more effective. Your advert is more effective. You are getting more occupants because people are there to attend to them. And you can station people there permanently because they are not just handling one apartment or two apartments. They are handling six apartments in the building. Now, another thing is maintenance. Maintenance is also very, very important because uh, most times, one of the most of the buildings that you'll be using for short are um, blocks of apartments. Um, blocks of apartments comes with um, um, general areas like the staircase, the parking lot, um, the lobby, you know, uh, the water is also central so everybody is connected to that. Um, maybe the power supply also in terms of the power backup is also central so everybody is connected to that. So we want to ensure that all these are well maintained. So if let's say we have 11 apartments here and then for whatever reason, two people or three people did not pay for diesel or they did not pay service charge. And then the facility manager could not um, maybe offer those facilities or offer those amenities because three apartments out of the 11 apartments here are owing service charge. That's a problem because this, those utilities or those amenities will affect you and affect your own occupants. Maybe you are supposed to have like maybe 11 hours or 12 hours generator usage. And because some people have not paid, they could only maybe on the generator for like maybe 8 hours or 7 hours. It's going to affect your occupant. Compared to every apartment in this building is all for shortlets. So whatever maintenance that, or, that I'm doing here is for all of them at once. We want to repair the generator, I know is. The generator is for everybody. We do that. Um, there's a plumbing issue. The plumber is not coming to check one flat. The plumber is coming to check 
the entire building. The electrician is coming to check the entire building. My cleaner is cleaning for the entire building. The laundry guy is handling, handling laundry for the entire building, for all the apartments that I have there. So if they are charging you maybe 100k for your own flat, because they are handling for all the apartments that I have there, like they'll be charging me like 60k per flat, 40k less. And whatever that is less, is lesser running costs and more profits because my profit margin goes higher. So that's why you need to understand all this math. It's, 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 it's very, very important. Short length is really not just a buy, furnish, and that's it. No, you are running a business. You, you just have to look at the math and the numbers just like you are doing a business. So uh, uh, repair works is general to all buildings, so it's going to cost me less. The plumber knows that he's coming there to check all the apartments or check the entire building. So he's not going to charge me like he's coming to check one flat. The electrician knows that he's coming to check all the buildings. He's not going to charge me like he's coming to check two flats. So that's the difference. Now, if you also about innovation, maybe you want to repaint um, some um, some of our units here, some, or some of our apartments, or want to repaint the entire building, it's also going to be cheaper. Because it's, Whatever renovation that I'm doing now, maybe you want to shake, even change the furnishing. You are doing it round all flats that we have here, compared to maybe you are doing innovation for your own flats only. And you tell the interior deco person to come. The person will first maybe charge you even an inspection fee or whatever, because you know that he's coming to check only your flats. But if I call an interior deco to come to my building, not, they can't, you can't charge me inspection fee because you are coming to check six, six apartments. You, are, you already yourself, you know what is in need for you if you can see that deal or still can't seal that contract so for innovation also it's going to be like much 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 cheaper and that's why the running cost in this model will be lower and the running cost in this lower model will be higher and if for any reason the running cost here is higher and you're not getting the booking you're not getting the high occupancy rates you're going to get discouraged and as a point you are going to stop because you are spending on adverts you are spending on internet you are spending on Netflix, you are spending on all the whatever subscription, you are spending on service charge, and your bookings is very low. Whereas here, I can maximize my advice, my, my adverts, because if one apartment is booked, another one is open. If another one is booked, another one is open. If this one is booked, another one, so I can run my adverts continuously, non-stop. But here, you likely have to run your one you once you want an advert to an extent and you have maybe someone there that book 15 days you stop this one if someone book 15 days i'm still going to advert because i know that another person can still come and book this one to two days three days one day five days they are still coming so that that's really the advantage now in terms of utilities also i've talked about this before you want to buy tv i'm not buying tv for one apartment i'm buying tv for six apartments i want to buy shares is for six apartments and buy at at work is for six apartments you get i want to buy um starlink is for six apartments i want to buy internet subscriptions netflix subscriptions i'm buying it in bulk i'm doing it in bulk so and that way is going to reduce my cost i want to pay a cleaner i'm not paying a cleaner to clean just an apartment i'm paying the cleaner a salary to clean all the apartment that we have here same thing with the laundry guys too so in terms of utilities also it's going to be cheaper when the entire building the entire apartment that we have in this building all are centrally managed all so a couple of developers also are trying to embrace that now so when they are building high rises they are building service flats they already have that option of okay let us manage it for you because if we manage it for you it will be better because you are not only managing yours, you are managing for four, five, six others in this apartment. So we share the running costs, we share the running expenses all around everyone, we share the adverts all around everyone, and that way is more efficient. So lastly, we'll be looking at um, in terms of power, power I mean electricity, and um, we really don't need to say much about Nigeria in terms of um, electricity anyway. So and it's definitely important for you to provide um 24 7 electricity for whoever is booking your apartment is one of the um, premium experience that they are paying for and um for, for a couple of projects right now when the right when the developers are building they have already integrated some um power 
backup options right in the building so some building right now already come with uh solar uh pre-solar solar cables so they have already run all the appliances in the house to be able to work with solar so that um you as as a buyer or as as an investor the only thing you just have to do is just bring your solar panel up um do the um, inverter battery and automatically that there is um electricity or not the solar can always power the house so the, all this most of these things always make sense when it's central compared to maybe you are trying to now do it just for your own unit alone so the cost is lower like if i'm running this entire power backup or power backup setup for six apartments compared to maybe when i'm running it for one if i'm running it for six apartments i can easily um integrate all those power backup features in the building when i was building it not even when i've already completed it and then i'm now looking for uh where will this cable connect to uh which one should we remove which one should we include uh should it carry ac should it not carry ac you know all this would have already been integrated in the um electricity and the um electrical design of that house so we already know that okay um the um ac in the bedrooms is on inverter the ac in the living room is on inverter the ac on the, in the kitchen is not on inverter this one is on inverter this one is not on inverter this one is on um generator this one is not on generator and all those plan makes it very easy and reduce your, your running cost because you want to reduce the duration you are running on diesel this is very expensive so you just don't want to make all the money and then spend all the entire money also on on service charge or utility utility charge because most of these um most of these um service apartments don't include um power backup in their service charge so the charge for power backup as it, as it goes some some of them uh, there is a monthly contribution for diesel or some of them that already integrated where um just buy the card and either is diesel or is phcn it should be reading but the costs per kilowatt will be much 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 higher so that's why you want to reduce your dependence on particularly you want to reduce your um dependence on carbon carbon fuel so you want to use as cheap energy as possible so that you want to reduce your running costs that's more possible when you are running running it on this model and one of the things that i've been trying to advise investors now is when you want to invest for short let have a short let manager handy even before you buy your apartment at all know who exactly you want to give it to manage so it's not like you buy the apartment you furnish it now you're not looking for managers because it's not because just because you have the apartment in legacy one is beautiful is nice and you furnish it you spend a lot in furnishing it does not mean that automatically people will just start knocking your door and saying oh we want to book it no it doesn't not work that way people book what they see people book what they see so you could spend 50 million just on furnishing their houses and the apartment they are seeing constantly 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 is one that someone spends 15 million to furnish is that one they will book because they not see your own so it's what they see they will book so and that's why you want to be in their eyes you want to be in their ears you want to create their awareness about that about your apartment and that's why it's important you have your short manager andy and if for any reason there's an option by a developer that oh buy don't worry we already signed an agreement with one two three four five other investors that are buying here we're going to be doing handling the shortlet management for them fantastic because it makes a lot of sense for the management the adverts of that um building or of those apartments for shortlets to be central than when you guys are trying to do it one by one mm? it's more efficient that way it's, it's more cheaper that way and you are going to even make more profit that way too so we have a couple of investors we have a couple of developers rather that are already building uh, a couple of projects and they already have the plug and play option that don't worry just buy we handle every other stress for you that is the advert is the booking is the maintenance is the utilities we handle all those 
the, what you just need is at the end of the month you get an email you get a booking um you get an occupancy report in your email and you get your monthly remittance fantastic you know a couple of you guys are already a couple of investors are already are making very very cool money from that model and they just let someone else undo all the headaches now let me make it public if someone else is handling the headache for you that person will also be sharing from your profits <laughs> because some of you guys feel like ah no why we take this social percent why you take this one why no 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 that's how it works hey <laughs> if you want to make all your profits you too do all your work if someone is doing part of your work for you they're going to make part of your profit and from my experience business is always sweet when i win you win i lose you lose so you don't want me to lose because you know that if i lose you will lose you always want me to win because you know that if i win you win so i like going to do that those kind of business relationships where i know that me making money is tied you making money is tied to me making money if i'm not making money you're not making money so for both of these uh, managers, people that do the central manage, man, manage, management, if you don't make money, they don't make money. If your apartment is empty, them too, they don't make any money. And they have staffs there. They have station to book for bookings. They have staffs there. They have, um, they have people that are adding their adverts. So they have all those running. So they want to always make sure that people book, people pay. So that they can pay you and them too, they can still break even from the running costs that they are, they are doing on that on that apartment so this this is short money. like i said oh, this 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 model is really not my idea it's not it's not my idea at all this 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 is a fantastic balance model uh, that is, uh, is already in place by um asset house that's that's my and hopefully he can also come into the show himself and tell you guys about how they have been able to run this run this model for the past um 13 months now and it's, it's really 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 working 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 for them so if, if you have questions if you have any question about this if you want us to discuss further about this model you want us to discuss further about how this work how this really work um I, i'll be open to that you can drop a comment or you can reach me directly on whatsapp for that i can see what what you can do you can see how we can plug in and also likely how you can also bring my one on board to dissect for down how they they have been able to get results from this for the past couple of couple of months all right so like i said we are going to be sharing our portfolio with you guys now so um in all our videos now you've seen our portfolio page on instagram there so you can check them out you can always go there see the land banking option see the cash flow option see the different shortlet models opportunities that you can plug and play and be earning monthly um, based on the bookings that we have on your apartment, uh, we also have that. We also have that in our portfolio too, and you can see how you can tap into those those opportunities. So now you know what we do. Now you know the services that we offer. So <laughs> so that there is, there is there's no excuse now. There's no excuse right now. So it's it's not like ah, Rabbi, I don't know you did this. I don't know you did that. Like we have our portfolio page right now, and we update it. We update it time and time again, so that we. Put it out there the opportunities are available for investors and we build a portfolio a portfolio for you all right so um if you have been learning from our videos we really want you to subscribe we don't want you to miss out from our, our guides our topic we really 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 would love you, love you to subscribe um do subscribe to our videos and if you have subscribed already turn on the notification button i really really would want you to turn on the notification button we don't want you to miss any of the interesting videos that we that we have for you so um, i still remain your number one property on the planet your property advisor about the consultant rabbi mustafa thanks for watching our videos and see you next time